What's going on guys? It is McWiggin here and we are back with another MLB The Show 20 tip video. In this one I have a pitching tips video for you guys. Okay, so to start this off, I am just going to announce that I am not the best pitcher at all. I don't think I'm a I think I'm a decent enough pitcher to where it doesn't cost me games. Now, 6.5 ERA is not great, okay? Don't get me wrong, but I have not played a game on Legend of this year, so um, most of this is from uh, Hall of Fame, and I think I played two games on All-Star, so take that with a little grain of salt. So um, I believe my ERA was like 4-something last year, maybe like high 4s, which really isn't that bad in this game. Um, so in this video, I'm really just going to go over uh, what pitchers are good, what kind of pitch repertoire you should look for, and what stats matter, and what kind of settings that I use, and then we'll go into a uh, practice mode and just kind of test it out. So for this, everybody knows how good 99 Kluber is, and it's not necessarily because of his stats, like his per nines and stuff, because Kluber's had really good cards in past years. And it's just, he was never really great, just because he never really translated well, uh, just because of the way that his pitches move in real life, and like, you, like he's so deceptive, uh, or at least when he was, uh, you know, when he was prime on the Indians, and you know, he was practically unstoppable, so, uh, really what you want, you want a sinker, and you want a cutter in this game. If you have a pitcher with a sinker and a cutter, you're going to have success with them, no matter what, at least a sinker. Or, or at least one of the two. That's why I also really like Greg Maddox. Now, if he's looking at my stats with Kluber, that's absolutely insane. Concerning, I've also used him an absolute boatload uh, in BR. So, and just quickly, for BR, uh, for pitching, uh, <laughs> don't worry about pitching. Um, if you can get yourself, like, four or five usable guys in the pen that just, uh, you know, like, James Pazos is good. He has a sinker. Uh, like... Just go for hitting. If be BR, people always ask me how do I pitch better in BR. You really can't. You just you, you can't. So um, this is just gonna be strictly uh, for seasons and just like online rated and stuff like that. So um, you really want to look. I I feel just so much more comfortable with guys with sinkers and cutters. Um, I just started using Greg Maddox out and he is absolutely incredible. Um, now we got some different guys here, like Shoei Otani is pretty tough to pick up, Nate Pearson and Mackenzie Gore, I'm um, really just trying out Mackenzie Gore, but uh, some other good ones, um, you know, this Alex Reyes doesn't have a bad repertoire, but he's very easy to pick up, um, you know, Forrest Whitley's another good one, a cheap option, he's got a sinker and a cutter, but I feel like a lot of people have seen him at this point, and uh, he's very tough to control sometimes, and he doesn't have much stamina, so he is not a bad uh, bullpen option as like a number five guy that you just bring out of the pen and whatnot, but um, really what you look for, you look for guys with a sinker and a cutter and a big time uh, off-speed pitch, so with Kluber, it's the slurve, with Maddox, it's the circle change, that's really what I like. Uh, you know, the sinker and the cutter, it gets in uh, a lot heavier than it would, than might it would show. Uh, so, like, 93, that's going to come in a lot faster than, than a normal 93 pitch. I promise you that. So, and with Maddox, you know, if that you know that cutter can touch, like, 91, 92. That sinker can touch, like, 91. And it can even go down to, like, 86. And then you throw, like, a 78 to 80 mile an hour circle change. It just, it gets them all over the place. So, really just mixing up tendencies well and uh, everything now with bullpen pitchers it's a little bit different you really want to find guys that are a little like tough to pick up that throw hearts like chapman's good do little wagner um i wouldn't really recommend that like there's not many lefties these are definitely the three best lefties in this game i um i know the britain just came out for the world series award i sold him i personally uh didn't really like him a whole lot uh he just he's the thing is with britain his sinker four seam and two seam are all like the same velocity. They all throw like they're they're all like 98 to 100 miles an hour. Now the difference between him and Chapman is Chapman's got that slow slider, so does Britain. But with Chapman's sinker and two seamer, it's so much slower than his four seamer that it just it gets people so off guard because it looks exactly the same out of hand. And by the time that you can tell you're either extremely late on it because it's a four seam or you're looking silly and flailing at it because it's a two seamer. So um that's why I'm not really a fan of Brit and there's a John Franco I wouldn't really recommend but uh I guess try him out if you want. And then uh for I usually rock four righties and three lefties. 
Uh, you know, a lot of people use a Charlie Morton. I'm not really a fan. Jason Isringhausen's not terrible. Don't <laughs> look at the stats, but he's actually not too bad. Uh, that Kerry Wood's pretty good for a free card. Uh, Kirby Yates definitely isn't bad. But, I mean, the big-time guys like Fingers and Gagne are going to get the job done. I've recently picked up Mo Rivera again. Uh, now I know my stats are absolutely awful, but a lot of this is from, like, BR and stuff like that, too. And, uh, you know, using these cards early on in the year on All-Star and stuff like that. But uh, on Legend, uh, you know, I really don't find myself pitching that bad. Uh, unless, you know, it's against a top player where you just you really can't make mistakes. That's really what it's about is uh, limiting your mistakes against the good players hitting your spots, and uh, trying not to be too easy to read. So, uh, I'm just going to maybe go over some guys, uh, like, the front page here. So, like, Christy Matheson, you obviously don't want to get. Roy Oswald has a very good repertoire uh, on on the page, but he's very easy to pick up. I love hitting Oswald. I didn't have much success with him when I did use him. Uh, Vita Blue is not terrible. No slider definitely hurts him, but he's not a bad option if you guys want to try him out, for sure. Um, Bob Feller is very hard to control, and he doesn't have, like, a sinker or a cutter, like what I was telling you about. Now, the three live series guys, the three main ones, I wouldn't use them. They just don't translate well. Uh, Scherzer's probably the most usable. Uh, DeGrom, just, he throws almost too hard. His off-speed's way too hard. Everything's, like, you can't, like, fool people with it. Garrett Cole, kind of the same thing. Uh, this Casey Mize, I had some success with, but then uh, once you face somebody, man, that can hit a sinker or a slurve, he's. I might have to try him out again, man. I, I'm not sure. I probably will try him out again, but, uh, you know, g g give Casey Mize another try and let me uh, know how you guys think. Um, there's no one else really here that I would try. Kopech, Kopech's pretty solid. Um, the only problem with Kopech is he's pretty well only usable on legend he might you might be able to use him on hall of fame uh but if you can face somebody that can hit a fastball uh you're in trouble because he can hit 102 and if you're not locating that fastball well or somebody is all over it when you do locate it uh you're in trouble so uh as i said forrest whitley is another solid option but uh i'm just gonna go over the settings now guys and uh go into a practice mode right quick so the pitching interface i use is pure analog um i would recommend this or i would recommend meter uh those are the two best options i just find like you have more control over pre pure analog now it's still very rng based when you hit your spots uh you really just hope that it goes where it's supposed to um i have uh my camera on catcher high so it's behind the plate um you guys will see that in a moment uh i also really like uh strike zone because i also use strike zone for hitting and that's not a bad thing just because uh you know that could even help out your hitting a little bit um you can just you can tell like what pitches are below the zone or like if it's a bad pitch that you shouldn't swing at and stuff like that so strike zone on strike zone's not a bad one anyways not even like if you don't worry about your hitting but uh I find you can hit your spots pretty well. Zoom is also not a bad one. Uh, and then one's for, like, where you're behind the pitcher, like, out in the outfield. Um, broadcast isn't bad, and uh, pitcher offset I don't mind either. So, uh, pitcher offset I use for a long time. That's the one camera I always seem to go back to. Uh, if I could find the camera, that catcher high, there we go. So, I have the pitch trail on. A lot of people use classic, so classic is, like, uh, the little indicators kind of uh like the break indicators i guess you could call them uh and you can have them on like i would just keep them on there's no point in having them fade so the pitch trail is just the line and it shows you where it's going with the ball on the end and then the classic is the uh the the break indicator so either either or is good i i kind of switch it up i have just the, the trail on now and i think that's it uh just as far as setting so let's hop into a custom practice here uh can i use uh legends here i think i can i believe uh i believe i can all right so let's just go to a stadium so the stadium that i always play at is ship it and a lot of people ask me why uh it's got good dimensions it's got a, the best batter's eye uh there's not a ton of foul territory i hate ball parts of a lot of foul territory it's just it plays so smooth it's just it's what i'm used to it's just it's the best i usually like to play at nighttime in october 
So we can do with that. Now, I think that is the team I just picked. I believe it's Legend. So I'll pick that and then we'll back out. And then I'll, I will go pick uh, Corey Kluber. So I kind of just want to use someone that's like basic that has like fastball slider, changeup, curveball, two seamer kind of deal at first. And then uh, go into uh, someone with like a, a sinker and a little bit more break. So um, let's see what we got here. So Nolan Ryan. All right. So I also have to put the gameplay up. So we'll put this on Legend. And uh, all right. So let's just do this. So Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, I might use. Um, well, you can use Phil Nicker. All right. Yeah, I'll use Tom Seaver because he's pretty well as basic as it can get. And uh, we'll just we'll play an inning out here. So really what you want to do, you want to establish a fastball here. So good spots, righty, righty for a fastball. Inso like high and in, uh, low and in I find some people fine, but you really got to hit your spot with that. Um, and middle away, not kind of like belt level, like right here, but kind of more like right around here. So uh, as you guys can see, this is the camera that I use now. See, that's not a good pitch at all, but when I pitch, um, I, don't, I don't have any control freaks or anything like that. Uh, I just, I placed my thumb on the top of the stick. I hold it, I don't hold it down completely. That's a good pitch. Wow, that's a good, most people are swinging at that. Um, I don't hold the stick down completely. I just kind of hold it until it, uh, until it meets uh, the requirement to where the bar starts going. And then I just hold it there. Uh, once the yellow line comes, you just flick it up, so... Fastball slider is really your main pitch to go for righty righty unless they also have a sinker but in Seaver's case his sinker really isn't that good. Um, see that's not even a bad pitch because if you locate that you're going to get a lot of people to roll over so um, I really try to locate this slider in the inside part of the plate it's just if you can hit your spot it's a really good pitch and most of the times when you do miss your spot like that it's still going to find the outer third of the plate so that's a really good idea. Um, we're going to try and bust George Springer again in a high, and hopefully there's nobody banging on a trash can. There we go, so. Now, I know, I, I know this is the AI, so it's not really like you're facing somebody, um, but you really want to develop, so like, if they're always late on the fastball, you don't want to just keep jamming them with fastballs, because eventually they are going to hit us, but I hate, I hate, one thing I absolutely hate, I hate giving up free base runners. It's just something I despise. I absolutely hate it, so. Um, I really try to pitch to the black, try to pitch to my opponent's weaknesses. Uh, can we make that play? Yeah, we can. Oh, oh he, just, he had the little 360. So I absolutely hate um, giving up free base runners. So now we got, we got a, a lefty matchup here. So I'm going to start it off here with an inside sinker. This inside sinker here to, uh, to lefties when you're pitching a righty is a very good pitch. Uh, see like if you can't hit your spot on it now. I'm not using a sinker baller necessarily I know Seaver does have a sinker, but um, it's not really his best pitch doesn't have much control So we're gonna try and locate this outside fastball here There we go. That's just there's that's just a beautiful pitch right there by Tom Seaver. So Really It's all about just controlling your pitches. I just try to put it on the black limit as many walks as you can uh we're gonna switch to a lefty here um ron gidry maybe i might switch to uh just because i don't really want to use white or blue just because it doesn't really have a change up so uh we can use a lefty here in ron gidry who doesn't have a change up either wow okay i thought he had a change up so really what i'll just do here is use that two seamer as a change up so um outside fastball is a really good starting pitch uh lefty righty matchup just because, like, you're going to get a lot of rollovers, especially if you find out that they, they got a really quick bat. Um, I usually don't like swinging first pitch. It depends. I'm all about picking up tendencies. So uh, if I find that, you know, somebody's, like, you know, they're throwing fastballs, you know, a lot in 0 counts, uh, 0 1 counts, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, and, you know, you really got to be uh, unpredictable sometimes. I like to hit people with, you know, like high curves and high change ups and stuff like that. So, you know, there's there's no point, there, you know, there's no hurt in trying that, you know. Uh, sometimes just mix it up. So we'll try out this two-seamer now. Two-seamer is a very good pitch if you can locate it. Um, just because the break on it's a little bit different. Yeah, don't do what I just did there and throw it down the middle. But if you can hit your spot with it, um, it's, it's a very good pitch. Uh, the break on it, it looks like almost like a cutter. Like it's just going to keep cutting in and it just kind of stops. So... 
Outside fastballs is the really good pitch for a lefty righty matchup, at least for me. And once again, guys, as I said, it's just it's all about getting heading counts. Um, that's that's what I try to do. I just so we're in like an O2 counter, so we ha we have a couple of waste pitches here. I really wish I had a changeup because I'd be definitely throwing a changeup here O2, but we'll throw a curveball here instead. So there's no like it like you got waste pitches here, so you know. Uh, especially if you have a, a pitcher with higher stamina, you don't really have to, uh, you know, always go after. But if, once again, if you're using something like Forrest Whitley, you might not want to be doing that. You know, find a pitch that they're that they're really struggling with, uh, like a sinker, cutter, changeup, curveball type deal, uh, and, and attack them with it. Just because it's it's very easy to also foul off pitches in this game. So, and I, I've been told, oh, like you see, that's gotta be a strike. That has to be a strike. Right there, that is too good of a pitch to not be called a strike. So, um, what was I talking about? So yeah, fouling pitches off. It's very easy to do in this game. Uh, I find myself that I'm very annoying to pitch because I ha I get in a lot of like three two counts, draw a lot of walks, see a lot of pitches, um, and that's really what I try to do. So I try to like you know get the starter as quick as I can out of the game, get into the bullpen, wear the guy down, and uh, do some damage. So. Uh, lefty lefty here for the first time. Uh, we're gonna start here with an outside slider uh, Very tough pitch to go with because you're really like not gonna be able to pull that a lot of the time sometimes you will be able to but uh, a Lot of times you won't now pitch. I really like lefty lefty is low and uh, low and outside uh, like two seamers and sinkers and stuff like that uh, So like I missed my spot there while wow, the hey, I actually got perfect perfect on that too, but uh Low and away off speed to lefty lefties. I'm actually gonna put uh, I'm gonna put Brantley back up. So low and away like sinkers and stuff like that. Uh, do I actually have a lefty with a sinker? Um, John Franco, yeah. So I said don't use John Franco yet. Here we are. Wait, John Franco. Okay, that's a completely different card to what he has in Diamond Dynasty. Right, sorry, fellas, but so damn please, Zach. Uh, how come nobody has? A sinker on the okay. I'll just go white or blue. I guess I don't know. I know he doesn't have a sinker, but he has a good two seamer. So, so with no slider, lefty lefty, uh, look to jam them a lot. If you don't have a slider or a cutter, uh, although most lefties do, like Wagner, Chapman, and Doolittle, I showed you, they all have sliders. So uh, don't worry about it. And then uh, even if you don't, you got a curveball, and you really want to put this like low in the zone. Uh, you know, you don't really want to see if that's not a bad pitch right there, but. Um, you really just like I know I say I'm like weird right now and I'm like repeating myself but get ahead in the counts try not to leave too much stuff over the middle and the stuff that you are leaving over the middle make sure it's a pitch that they're not on and if you you know you're gonna leave stuff over the middle of the plate guys there's nothing that I can tell you or anybody else that can tell you that will stop you from leaving pitches over the middle of the plate it's just it's gonna happen everybody does it um, but when it does don't get too frustrated stay composed uh, you know Pick up, you know, your opponent's tendencies. Like, that's a great pitch right there. Pick up your uh, opponent's tendencies and hitting. Uh, you know, if they're taking first pitch a lot, you got to put stuff on the black. Get a heading count. Make them swing the bat. Make them make the mistake uh, is the biggest thing. Make them make the mistake. Stay composed and just, in, you know, keep firing stuff in there. The AI is early on 101. That's making me very uncomfortable. I sorry about that. My mic cut out there for a second. So yeah, really all it is, fellas, is um, you know keeping control of the strike zone, stay composed because you're gonna hang pitches as I said. So we're just gonna finish it off here, Dennis, Dennis Eckersley, because he does have a sinker. So sinker slider. So righty righty sinker. I mean, with Eckersley, you just you have to get it in there. You just you have to jam him with us. Uh, a lot of people online are gonna be swinging at that. Now it's a little bit different. I wish I could uh, play an online game and tell you guys this, but. Um, my biggest thing, guys, find someone with a sinker, cutter, and a big Osby pitch. Stay composed uh, on the mound. You know, you're going to hang pitches. There's there's nothing you can do. You can just limit it as much as possible. Pick up your hitter's tendencies. I believe uh, in, in the game there is a hitting analysis or a pitcher analysis. I'm not quite sure what one it is. But you can actually go in uh, into the pause menu in the game and... Uh, and see, you know, if they're swinging uh, at fastballs early in the count, if they're swinging like off speeds, you know, what you know, what their percentage is when they swing at a pitch, stuff like that. So, 
you know, if, if you're in a tie game, you know, you're kind of struggling uh, at the plate, just take a second and, you know, go look at that for a minute and, you know, just take a breath, have a drink of water or something. I know it sounds really weird, but it, it, this, like, this is, like, it, it's kind of like real life, you know. You can't get frustrated because, um, you know, it's going to happen. You're going to hang stuff. Your opponent is going to hit things. So, uh, it's just, it's all about staying calm, trying to put stuff in the black, make good pitches, get ahead in counts, make them make the mistake, guys. So, that's... I think that's gonna pretty well wrap this uh, wrap this video up. Let me know what you guys thought of the tips. If I missed out anything, um, or if you guys have any questions, don't do that. Don't let go of your rate stick on accident. Uh, if I missed anything, guys, please let me know down in the comments. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, about the game or just pitching in general, um, I can try and help you uh, with the best of my abilities that I can. So please make sure to do that down in the comments. We are creeping up towards 2,000 subs on the channel. So if you guys are new and aren't already subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, it takes less than a second. And also turn on notifications to make sure you guys get notified when I upload uh, content. Uh, I got a lot of fun stuff on the way, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like. Go check out my links down in the description below. Can we make this catch in the video? Yes, we can. So thank you guys for all the support once again. And I will see you beautiful bastards in the next video. Peace out.